What's going on guys, Falcon from Frozen Inferno Studios here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on Windows for how to get free fonts for your Windows device. So, this is called thefont.com. It's a free website to get whatever kind of fonts you like. So, this is for Windows 10, 8, and 7. Uh, this also works for Windows XP. And right here, uh, it will show you uh, certain... Uh, methods you can use but this is a step-by-step -step process if you're one of those people who just need to see it out so it's just easier uh right here you have a big menu of options of categories things like that where you can get fonts uh we're gonna go with the holiday season right here and we'll choose uh like christmas so you can scroll through and check out all the things that you like like find a font that you like like, I'm going to use St. Nicholas here, and you're going to click this download button. But before you hit download, unless you, uh, just to make sure you like things, you can click on the font, and in the custom preview box, you can type in, like, I'd write, like, subscribe or something, and put it in, and it will show you what it will look like in that font. Pretty cool, huh? But like, you can also, if you don't want to do it like that, you can just scroll down and look at the boxes, and just be aware that if a certain symbol has um like a blank vertical rectangle box that means that uh for example most of the things on that screen that means it's not that uh, symbol is not supported for this font so just be aware of that before you download uh but then once you find a font that you like click the gray download button and it will say it is finished downloading from there what you're gonna do is you are going to uh, open the zip file, and there is a true type font file that you want to click on. But what I want to recommend you do is make a separate folder that you're going to put all your fonts in. I call it, um, what do I have it? It's called New Fonts, and these are all the fonts I've downloaded and a couple other things. I'm not sure why they're there. But what you are going to do is take this, you can either drag and drop or copy and stick it in your fonts folder. Uh, after you do that, you really don't need those other things. You can just exit out. Take your new thing, uh, your new font that's in your fonts folder, and don't call it fonts. Just d don't. It's uh, You'll see why in a second. I just called my new fonts. Then you're gonna go to the bottom left corner of your screen, the little Windows button, and you're going to search in, in the search bar, fonts. This, there is a folder in your control panel called fonts where all your fonts are stored. This is what it looks like when you go into it. So these are all the fonts that you have pre-installed and if you've already done this before. But you have my Survivant is what they call it, the font. It's from the show Survivor if any of you guys watch it. It's a good show. You should probably go watch it. It's really cool. And um, I'm just figuring out what I was going to do here because I couldn't get it side by side. But... What you're going to do is take your uh, font, what I got, St. Nicholas, and you're going to drag it into your font's control panel. And then when you're done with it, you can go look into it, and it will be there. It's just easy as that. Once you stick it from your font, uh, fonts folder to the control panel one, you're all set. And you can now use it in your other applications, such as WordPad, which is formerly known as Microsoft Word as of Windows 10. And yeah, just look in the fonts, and it should be there in alphabetical order. And you can just type whatever you want in that font. It's pretty great, and I use it all the time. <coughs> excuse me. That's how in the in <coughs> excuse me. That's how in the intro of my video. Uh, my videos, our videos, I should say. In the intro, there is like a little Minecraft um, font. If you can go, you could probably go find that right now or at the beginning of this video. And it will be there. And I got that from Defont. Just make sure that if you're going to monetize your videos, that some are in commercial use. So just to point that out. So just be aware if they're commercialized or not to use. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Anything you can possibly do to support the channel. Since, like, what was it? Maybe October when 
I think it was October when we last got like a hundred subscribers, and now we're at like a hundred and sixty. It's only been like a month or two, so that's pretty great since we started last year. But regardless, thank you for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye.